Fiat Grabauer's play down the stretch of the regular earned him the start in Game 1 of the Capitals' playoff series against the Columbus Blue Jackets. It remains to be seen, however, if his play has earned him a start in Game 2. Grabauer gave up four goals on 27 shots Thursday in a 4-3 overtime loss. Following the game, head coach Barry Trotz would not commit to Grabauer as the starter for Sunday's Game 2. Related, K-U-Z-N-E-T-S-O-V-S Big Night Not Enough in Game 1 Phillips' body of work was good, Trotz said. I thought he was fine. Well sit down, well re-evaluate all the goals, well re-evaluate our team and where we're at and well go from there. Grubauer started the as the backup behind Braden Holtby, but outplayed Holtby in the final weeks of the two earn the Game 1 start. Trot's answer appears to at least leave the door open for a possible goalie change in Game 2. Prior to Thursday game, Holtby had started in all but one of the Capitals' playoff games since 2012 and currently boasts the second-best playoff save percentage .931 in NHL history. See the full schedule for the Caps Blue Jackets series here The Caps played a back-and-forth game with the Columbus Blue Jackets on Thursday, but looked like they would ultimately escape with a Game 1 victory. But everything changed with one mistake-filled sequence late in the game. With the Caps leading 3-2 and under six minutes left, Andrei Burakovsky got overzealous on the forecheck, chasing Seth Jones behind his own net and reaching the stick out in an ill-advised attempt to slow down the Columbus defenseman and dislodge the puck. Instead, Jones tripped over the stick and Burakovsky was given the minor penalty. It was an unnecessary offensive zone penalty. There was no reason to reach with a stick and no harm if Burakovsky simply let Jones go. Washington's penalty kill had a chance to bail out Burakovsky for his mistake, but a series of failed clears ended up allowing Columbus to maintain pressure until Jones was able to bury the game-tying goal. When you have a chance to clear the puck on the penalty kill, you must clear it. Once more for emphasis, if you have a chance to clear the puck on the penalty kill, you must clear it. The Caps did not have one chance to clear the puck, they did not have two chances. They had three. As the Jackets attempted to cycle behind the net, Matt Niskanen stepped in front of the pass and kicked the puck to Brooks or Pick, but his clear attempt was slowed by Thomas Vanek. The puck trickled out to Tom Wilson who attempted to clear, but that was blocked by Jones. Wilson chased after the puck as it went to the wall and won the battle with Jones, but his clearing attempt was blocked yet again, this time by Cam Atkinson who battered the puck down with his chest to keep the play alive. Soon after, Jones tied the game at three. Artemi Panarin would go on to win the game in overtime. Failed clears are critical errors at this point in the as they draw the defense out of position and tires the penalty killers out. In a closely contested playoff game between two evenly matched teams, every mistake can prove costly. Taking an unnecessary penalty and failing to clear the puck on the resulting power play is why ultimately the Caps were handed a game one loss on Thursday. Artemi Panarin scored a slick goal just a few minutes into overtime as the Blue Jackets rallied past the Capitals. 4-3, on Thursday night in D.C. in Game 1 of the 2018 NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs first round series, Columbus now owns a 1-0 series, with Game 2 set for Sunday at 7.30 p.m. on NBC Sports Washington. The Capitals opened a 2-0 lead in the first period and were up 3-2 in the third, but they could not put Artemi Panarin and the Blue Jackets away, related, six times John T-O-R-T-O-R-E-L-L-A was the worst Tarix three stars of the game, one, Artemi Panarin, Blue Jackets Panarin took Dmitry Orlov wide and fired a shot past Philip Grubauer 6-0-2 into overtime to provide the winning margin. The Russian sniper also had a pair of assists. The goal was Panarin's fourth in five games versus Washington this. 2. Evgeny Kuznetsov Capitals Kuznetsov will need to be great in these playoffs if the Caps are going to go deep. He's off to a fast start. The 25-year-old center scored each of the Caps' first two goals on the same power play in the first period. The first came on a shot that deflected past Sergei Bobrovsky 27 saves off a Columbus stick, the second was a snipe past Bob's glove. Kuz he also had a game-high six shots on goal and three hits. 3. Devante smith Pelly Capitals no one needed a goal more than DSP, who hadn't tallied since January 31. And with his team in a tough spot, he delivered. With a score knotted 2-2 early in the third period, smith Pelly went to the net and tapped a deft crossing pass from Jack Hubrana past Bobrovsky. smith Pelly also had three hits. Agree-disagree let us know what you think in the comments.